Hey guys, so in today's video, I'll be teaching you how I make audio reactive point cloud animations in Blender. seen any other tutorials on YouTube of how to do something like this but if you want to know the basics of point clouds uh, how to set them up how to add the uh, color from your scans check out my previous video on how to make point cloud animations okay let's start uh, you want to go to file import stuff apply as verts and then you just want to find a point cloud that you want to use let's just say this one import it Right, so we have the point cloud. So what you want to do now is, if you have my point cloud um, animator node tree, you just want to go into append, find where you installed uh, my point cloud animator and append it. Make your life much easier, add modifier, geometry nodes and select my node tree. Right, so we have the point cloud visualized. Let me just make it a bit brighter. It's quite a big radius. Let me just decrease it a little bit. So if you use my node tree, you'd have something that looks like this, a point cloud that's being animated across time. But what if we want to sync it to music? I got inspired to do this idea by Max Novak, who recently made a video explaining how to keyframe along music. Okay, so what you want to do is go into the graph editor. Let's just make sure we start at one. And you want to put a keyframe on the distortion strength. So just hover your mouse over it and press I. Now there's a keyframe. Make sure you select this so you can actually see it and press this as well. Okay, so we have a keyframe at one. Now we wanna go to key. Ooh. Now we want to go into key, bake sound to F curves. Now you wanna find uh, the audio track that you wanna use. I'm gonna use one of my friend's tracks. Uh, they make really good music. You should uh, check them out. I'll have their links uh, in the description. Okay, so let's just say I want this track. And if we come over here, you can select uh, lowest frequency, highest frequency, all of this kind of stuff. So basically what these two mean is it's going to key frame everything between zero and whatever you want. So if you want just the base frequencies, you wanna m make sure you put the highest frequency something low to like 200 or 300. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Press bake. And now you see it's been animated on the graph here. And now you'll see the distortion increases as it hits a beat. You can't hear any music right now. To fix that, we wanna go add another tab here. You want to go into video sequencer and you want to do the same thing. Just uh, add the same music you used for the graph editor. And now if you press play, there's music. It's not going to be very easy to visualize how uh, the music interacts. So the way that I found that kind of um, makes it a little bit easier is to change the render engine to workbench just for the time being so that it renders much uh, quicker and you can kind of see the... Um, the sort of distortion that happens. But uh, obviously this depends on the system that you're running. It's gonna be very uh, intensive, depending on how many points you have in your point cloud. So as you can see, this isn't really adding too much distortion, right? So how can we increase the amount of distortion? Let's just go back to one here. And we wanna go into modifiers here. If you don't see this tab, just press N on your keyboard. Uh, add modifier, envelope. Make sure you're selected the point cloud. Um, now you want to do add control point and now you'll see if you drag these values here you can change the strength of the distortion so this control point sort of acts as an anchor so if it gets to a point where you see that it is um, distorting it a little bit too much like over here you can see that maybe you don't want it to look like uh, this you want to go to the start just before the distortion happens and you want to add another control point and from here 
you can change it so it's a bit smaller. It might change this as well. So uh, just play around with the settings really until they align to the way you like them to. So that's the very basics of audio reacting keyframes in Blender. If you want a more detailed video, I do highly recommend watching Max's video. I'll link it in the description. But that's about it for me. If you guys would like to support me, please do consider buying something from my Gumroad. Uh, I have a paper fold pack and I also have um, this node tree that you can download and um, animate point clouds much easier in Blender. And also, if you'd like, uh, you can join my Discord. I'm trying to build a community where creatives from any sort of industry, let's say you're a musician, you're a video editor, you're a graphic designer, whoever you are, it's a place for anyone who wants to socialize, maybe share ideas, collaborate and promote their own stuff. All right, that's it. Thanks.